Start coloring your mandala. You're going to use paint at first and then colored pencils. So the first step is to get the paint out. Um, the paint trays are in the back of the room. I'll show you where those are. So there's the paint trays. Just grab one per table to share. You're also going to need a paintbrush. You're going to need a palette that you can share at your table between two people and a cup of water. If this cup of water gets contaminated and has a lot of different colors in it, you'll need to get fresh water. So the first step you're going to do is, and sometimes it just helps to pour this on here to get a little bit of water on your palette. So I've got a little bit of water here. I'm going to add my paint to that water. The whole idea is to not contaminate your paint up here. So for instance, I don't want any green on the blue or I don't want any yellow on this blue. So you'll have to wash your brush off each time. So I'm going to mix up a color here. And you want your color to be dark. You don't want it to be super light. Uh, but you do want it to be opaque, which means that you can still see through the paint. You don't want it super dark. And so I'm going to make a, a purple. So I've already put the blue down. I've cleaned my brush off, and I'm going to get some red. I want to get a lot of pigment on this brush so I can mix that purple up. So if I want this color to be a little bit lighter, I can add some white to it. All right, so to do the painting part, what we're going to do is we're going to do colored pencil and paint, but I only want you to paint the larger areas and stay away from the smaller areas, you're going to use colored pencils for those. So when you're painting, after you've mixed up your colors, you just want to be super careful on your edges. I don't want you to get outside the lines. And also, with the mandala, the design is painted the same color all the way around. So if you've painted the drop pink, then all the other drops should be the same color. Make sure you have enough pigment on your paintbrush so that the colors are vivid and dark. But you don't want so much paint that you can't see through it. If you didn't quite get it on the line, just go back and just be really careful. We're doing painting on this project just because we're limited on time and you can get a lot colored very quickly. Now, the whole idea with this paint is not to get it super duper wet. If you get it really wet, your paper paper's going to disintegrate and it's going to wrinkle real bad. So you just want to put enough paint down and then leave it alone, let it dry. Check your edges, really get in those edges good. And then you're done. And then these areas I'll probably color with colored pencil if they're smaller areas. So here's an example of the mandala once you start painting. This student has done a very good job staying within the lines and keeping that design color the same all the way around. So if you choose to color a section pink, you'll need to make sure that that section is pink all the way around. And then she's doing the same color here. One thing that I want you to think about is you want a cohesive design. And what that means is you don't want to do pink just here and then do random colors everywhere else. You'll want this color to reappear somewhere else.